So about two weeks ago, we went out to the track with Dennis and Robin and had a little fuel pump issue on the Nova. Got that fuel pump back. So today we are here back at Dennis and Robin's house and we are going to put the fuel pump back on. Looks like Dennis is working on a, um, a another battery tray in the Chevelle. So they've got the Chevelle out of the trailer. So we'll get some footage of that too. Gonna help them move a couple things around inside the shop. But uh, here we go. Let's get to work. Look at, look at that. Just oh the camera just sweeping already trying to clean so a couple a couple two three weeks ago we had the fuel pump issue out of the track it was leaking on the starting line dennis was trying to make a time trial they shut him down we went back into pits we tried to mess with it pump started blowing fuses and Apparently Aeromotive had sent back a pump that wasn't even rebuilt and the wiring inside of it was fried and all that. So anyhow, they got that back now and uh, getting that, gonna put that back in the Nova and Dennis is working on drilling some holes over here in the back of the Chevelle. Gonna mount a battery tray that is laying around here somewhere, but I lost it. So. But anyway, so that's what's going on. No, no Buick content today. It's all race cars. That's why I asked yeah. you what you're looking for. He's like, why are you asking me what I'm looking for? Because I can help you. <laughs> no, and now if I lose something, I I'll go, I can't find this. Find this is the I stuff I was talking about. Oh, yeah. yeah that was fabric just, split loom. Yeah. That's pretty Because I only need to cover the. Some airflow in here. I, well, yeah. I cleaned it. Who the, put it up there? Dennis. Huh? Dennis does. How did he get up there and put that up there? ladder and he crawls up there and scares me to death and it's like 
I, you know, I mean, the man will do whatever he has to do. Boy, Dennis needs a ladder that can support man well, weights around. Okay, here. we have <laughs> we have big ladders. They're outside in the on the lean to. He's trying to get his bench cleaned. Did he nail that up there? Or is it just tucked on? It's um, stable on. Oh, and so it's going to take some. Nailed, I, it's going to take some force to pull it down. Uh, not much. Um, hang on a minute. The big ladder is out. It's out in the lean-to. We just hung it. It's on the back side of the lean-to. Um, on the south side of the lean-to, there's that big ladder. Was it? Any of you are confused about what's happening, there's a blanket covering <clears throat> a fan on the wall and it is really hot. So we're trying to get that mug down. Watch the car. What's she talking you into now? She wants me to get your uh, blanket down here. Oh, I use that other ladder. I only use that tall one. Here's a little tall dude. We're just gonna go ahead and go up and get her like this. That is so he nice. Will be... And uh, here. you realize this ladder's broke, right, Dennis? Oh yeah. Okay, just make sure. It's broke. Yeah. What's the other side? When they remodeled the house, they left it, so oh, I still use it. Left you a present? Yeah, I didn't plug that out by then right there with that cord while you're that way. Once I get it off or right now? No, once you get it off. Okay. This is hysterical. On your way down. <laughs> On my way down, yeah. This is hysterical. I'm trusting that you supposedly climb ladders for a living and aren't going to fall. Oh, yeah, it's got a... Uh, yeah, just kind of... Yeah, just rip it. Just Don't rip, just, just rip the entire well, blanket. I'm glad you said that because I was already about three into ripping. He said, well, it's how broken. is it up there? I said, oh, I think it's stable. It's broken nails. Oh, roofing nails. With the orange thing. All right, throw it down. There we go. All, All right. right. Oh, plug the thing in. Well, you got you got to get the fan going, Dad. Uh, I'm going to build a box for it. Yeah, it won't come on. It's temperature controlled, that's what that is. It's not hot enough? Okay. Well, there's a, where's the switch to turn it on? On the wall by my desk. Hey, that was a big deal. Hey, at least you got the guy to come turn the grate around so it's on right. Right? I mean, that was the thing. When we built it, they had it. <laughs> the motor outside. Yeah. yeah. Uh, something not right here. All right. Coming at you, Robin.
Potentially. I think it's later tonight, though. Well, the other night we had a good one. What, the storms tonight? Yeah. Isn't there? Yeah, they're supposed to get pretty bad. Is it? Yeah, they said a bunch of hail. Yeah, that's what I saw was they large said, damaging hail. They said large damaging hail and uh, a few strong tornadoes possible. So, you know. Right we're just getting hit every single day. Apparently. Last video you guys saw, there was a tornado outbreak, and apparently that's just going to be happening every week now. It's going to be a little weekly segment on this channel. Eddie Hall up in here, dude. I was trying to brag, but that was all me. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. 100%. I'm sweating. I got to take my hearing aids off. All right, Caden's gonna Caden's gonna put the fuel pump on the Nova. We're just gonna set this down right here, and uh, well, uh oh. Today we're gonna figure out how to put our fuel pump together because I have no clue what I'm looking at. All right, <laughs> so that's your mounting bracket. Okay. And if you uh, oh, okay, I'm already picking it up on it. Wait, so is it? It sits. I'll tell you this sits much. That it sits way in there like that? this. Okay. Okay. So. Do we need to have bolts or something to put them in? Uh, you're probably laying on them, actually. Oh, Watch there's your head. some right here. Yeah, that's a nut washer, nut washer. Where's the Another other bolt? One. Okay, yep, yeah, that's all of them. Okay. So, you have, this is your fuel supply line right here. Return line goes here, and this goes up to the carburetor. So don't we need to mount that first before we do that? Yeah, I mean, Yes and no, you can do it both ways. Dennis, did you have to drain the whole tank when you took this off? Yeah. Okay. So, you got two wires. This wire is going to loop around to the back. Okay. And be your ground strap there. And this is your power wire. So that will hook there. right there. Cool. So, if I'm not mistaken, since we did this just the other day at the track, Did you not have a lock washer on both of those bolts? Should be laying there. there should be washers and lock washers. There's a there's one I know in front of this yellow mat right here. Oh, did it? That may be the one I'm looking for. Might be for. under there. Right there. Grab that washer. So is that a lock washer? Nope, that's a flat washer. Are these locking nuts or bolts or nuts? This one here has got a lock washer on it, but um, then the rest of those are all flat washers. Boat and I'll give you a washer. Okay. So, <clears throat> we can uh, actually, if you wanted to, we can go ahead and start putting those on. Start threading that on. Make sure you don't cross thread it. It should thread on super easy. And then once you get it just finger tight, we'll tighten it all with the wrenches here in a second. But is it going on good? Yep. Okay, that's good. You don't have to tighten it at all. We'll do the uh, return line up top. Man, these boogers are on there, these little caps. Here, hold on. Okay. See if you can get them off. I, I just well, don't have any. There's these things right here. And well, I'm... see if you can get one of those little wrenches in there, maybe. There you go. Work on that one. Okay. Got him. So now your return line. We'll go right there on top. You got a hold of that? OK. 
Okay, that's good. I think so. Yep. And this one goes there. That's the last one. To... Hang on. Before you connect that one, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that mounted on there. So this okay. needs to go through the hole on this. Okay. Take it from me. So feed it in that way, and then this hole will line Wait, up th with this that way or that no, way towards you. Yep. Okay. It's in there. You line me up. Am I blocking the camera? No. Okay. Well, kind of. Yeah. There you go. Okay, now flat washer. There. Hey Dennis. You want the lock washer on against the nut, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Take that back out. Take that lock washer off, put the flat washer on, and start over. Shoot. I don't know why that lock washer was it. No, no lock washer on there. Keep the lock washer. Yeah, Wait, set the lock washer down. It'll that, go on. And then the, yeah, that's the lock washer. The one with the split in is the lock washer. All right. You, you line it up. I can't see is anything. It, okay, so. wait, hold on. Is this the top or the bottom? Okay. Now get your lock washer. Put it on there. The split one. And then this nut will go on there. And you don't have to get anything first, tight. right? Lock washer? Lock washer first and then nut, yep. I don't know why I asked that dumb of a question. It's all right. Okay, now let's do the other side. Actually, we were supposed to put this. Oh my God, are we have to take this thing off now? No, just we're going to put it right there. So just okay. take the nut loose. All right, you got to hold it. Yep. Do I need to take the washer off? Yep. This will go right there and I put everything right back on top of it. Okay. Same deal here, we go off with the washer, lock washer, put the flat washer on. Alright, now feed that one through. The other side? Yep. You line it up, I can't see anything, so. It's in now. No moving. I'm not moving. Did you get it? Yeah. yeah. There, yeah. Now put your uh, flat or yeah, lock washer. You don't need the flat washer. Lock washer, lock first washer, and then, then that. that. Yeah. Okay. All right. It doesn't look like it's all the way through like the other one. Well, it's it's kind of standing off because of the pressure. Once we there, tighten yeah, it down, it'll now that's better. Yeah, once we tighten it all down, it'll be fine. Now we'll hook this last power wire up very at the very end. We'll go ahead and Put that. what we're going to go ahead and do is tighten up these fittings that you're laying on. Let's see, let's try to remember what they were. That's inch and sixteenth. I think there's more wrenches underneath, underneath you over there. Underneath me? Watch your head. Right here. Yeah. Just bring all those wrenches over here. Okay. Trying to remember. Fifteen, sixteen. I can't believe that's all they said. Why'd you get it? <laughs> Do what? Oh, the, talk about the graduation. All they said. Oh, they did it. He's saying, like, whenever they were, like, at the end of the graduation, all they said was, hey. Oh, yeah. That's why I was so frustrated. Oh, like, well, you made it. And I'm like, uh, no, nope, I'm out. I was, I was pretty upset. Uh, sucker on there okay with these an fittings mm -hmm. you don't want to just put the absolute he-man on them because they're aluminum I'll just put them on there and, I'll give and if you if you go to smash on them you can you can strip them out yeah so same with this right yeah yeah they're all they're all the same 
but I think that's a bigger fitting. You want to tighten them up, you said? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and put this one on. I, I already tightened the return line, but... Oh, how the crap? Yeah, I'm not putting fuel. We're in a pretty good... How do you get this on here? Um, did you put a different fitting back in on the, the side that goes to the carburetor? No. Because the line doesn't want to reach the pump. Here, move your hand just a second. Well, let me come down there. Uh, it's all it's all mounted up but I mean, this line's pretty rigid it, it's not gonna have you didn't have an elbow on this one no no i try i went to grand prix to try to find a aluminum fitting for that yeah he said we don't make 45 you got straights or 90s and i thought oh, I yeah you don't need a 90 for sure so I thought, well, I'll just put it back on. To I'll let him jump down here and look at it. Um, yeah, I don't know this for sure, Dennis. Nope. But it almost looks like, because you've got plenty of extra on this one, it almost looks like the elbow needs to be here, because this one... Oh, shoot, I put them in the wrong place, didn't I? Okay. This one goes over here. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Oh, I could okay. swap it out real quick. Okay. And, um, Duh. Well, see, that's the reason I got this out. I thought about just putting a hole because she doesn't have no filter in there. And I thought about yeah, that's just this. an open case, isn't it? Yeah, I told her I'm gonna put a filter on it. I'm just not tell her. <laughs> oh, okay. Does she not want a filter on it? No. Kitty took it out and she never put it back. Uh, okay, yeah, let me go get because that's uh. That's a one inch, I think. This okay, you don't have a one inch can't over here. I did that. A 15 uh, 16, inch and 16, inch, inch and an eight. Uh, seven eighths or 15. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So you were on, was it Joe Hartley? Yeah, Alan Hartley. Oh, Alan Hartley. So Joe you... was his son, the driver. Okay. But that was the driver was Joe Hartley? Yeah, the boy. And what year was it that you were on that team? 94, 93, something like that. Two years. <laughs> and you did the clutch? I started as a gopher boy. Yeah. And... Uh, I didn't make sure I didn't piece that one. So we need to take pull this one off. Pull this one off. Yeah. What's that one? Is this inch that's and an eight? That's an inch, I think. Yeah, that's an inch and eight. Oh, is it? Just blow on it, make sure there's no dirt you've got on it. So. Yeah. I, I went on YouTube the other day and was uh was looking looking up videos i couldn't find any joe hartley videos from the 90s everything i found was around 2005 Whoa. um well they sold the car in the trailer in the 90s oh uh, late 90s I think. and then did he start up again or no the guy who bought it did I'd still let Joe Hartley drive it? No. Because there's a bunch of videos. Joe Hartley quit. There's a bunch of videos from 2005 of him racing like Clay Milliken and yeah. um, Larry Dixon. And, oh, yeah. That was yeah, we went to Indy that one year. And, uh, oh, uh, God, who was it that was behind us at Indy? Oh, the funny car driver. Can't napa who was that guy ron caps ron caps yeah behind us i got to talk to him through the fence and stuff that was really pretty cool yeah and uh oh, well. yeah you get this you loose keep this one loose and you you can't go completely round you got to go one more 
you all, I keep going to it tightens and then back it off to where it lines up that way. So just keep twisting it. It's fairly well, tight. Well, when it stops at hand, you okay? Yeah, then back it off. And then tighten the jam nut behind then, it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, eventually I'm going to replace this whole line. Yeah. Because it's braided. And I want to put this You want to put the black... Uh, yes. It's what is lighter. that stuff called? Uh, I don't know either. But it's... Everybody says it's the stuff to use. It nowadays. is the stuff to use. There's some tech stuff in some places that, that it's required now. You can't use the old braided line. Right. Yeah, just let it go. Alright. Now, now, now this will fit on there just fine. <laughs> I was like, man. Well, when you said they're saying it's a little short, I thought, no, let me get in there. I said, I forgot that one goes in the front. And I thought, I was just being stupid. Had a blonde moment. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll let you snug up all the fittings. All we all, the only other thing we need to do is snug up this little guy here. Yeah, those four bolts, or two bolts. Uh, you got the ground wire right here. Yeah. I got to finish tightening these up. Yeah, and we're spinning. I know they had this thing way after this time. Oh, really? Yeah. We Remember how we adjusted to... that in? Yeah, or... we were We're probably going to have to That's adjust the... it again, aren't we? Ow, oh, oh, that braided line just stabbed oh, me oh, right now. hurt. Weed eater out of here. I was trying to weed eat the grass underneath the car. <laughs> well, if you got grass growing under the car, it's been sitting here too long. It's sitting there too long. Yeah. All right. Only thing left to do now is snug up your fittings. Well, I gotta take this out. Because the, the, the main fitting coming out of the tanks is leaking. And so that's why I got to do that. Which one's leaking? The one coming out of the tank, going that way. Oh, on the bottom? I take this off. There's a nut on the inside of this. And the only way I can get to it is take this out. Oh, the nut Unless, on the inside of the tank? How small are your hands? His hands are a little bit. He might be able to reach get in there. Re see if you can reach your hand into that. Into that lid. Can you get your hand in there? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let me tell you what's going on. Okay. <laughs> Dennis just got excited. No. Well, back in this corner, okay. My hand there's a fitting on the outside of this. Okay. Okay. Get down here and look and see where this the fuel hand. line fitting's coming out. Yeah. There's a nut right there. It goes into the tank. You want me to unscrew it? No. No. What I want to do is. Well, you can get on it, and I'm going to give you a wrench to see if you can get on it on the inside. Okay. And I'll try to tighten it on the outside. So hold it there. Yeah, you're just yeah, going to hold it in yeah, here. I so I got I got to see how big it is. So that saved me a lot of that's a lot of screws. That is a lot of screws. And I don't know if I can get on. Is your arm in the way of the wrench now? Is that what it is? I did, it's just like I don't know that I can get the wrench wait is is the fitting inside there sitting in the wrong position i don't know Hold on. Fuck. if it's too hard i'll take that, that filler cap out of there i can't i if i could get this completely like underneath it would be easier well you pull your arm out but I, i'm saying i can't put the wrench a shorter wrench yeah that's what that's what i need yeah do you have a shorter inch and an eight? Because it, it's like yeah, it, it's and when like you get that. your arm in there, it's binding so up against your arm and against yeah. the edge of that tank. Yeah, I, 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 I was kind of thinking that might be the case, but this jet had to cut a lot of my wrenches off just to modify. I bet. Them. All right, we're going back in with a snubby, stubby, not snubby, a stubby ratchet. Yeah, it's on there. Got her on there. All right. Now, what's going on here since Caden's already in there and that's the boring side. 
that fitting right there on the bottom is, is dripping slowly. A little bit of a leak to it. Ready, Kaden? Yeah. Okay, I'm good. We're good. All right, you're good. Okay. <clears throat> now the only thing left is tighten these up. I left the power unplugged off of this, Dennis. I figured we'd wait till everything was ready yeah. before we. Well, I wanted to make sure this was tight before we put fuel in it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we just uh, need yeah. to tighten the other on the pump. And then we're good to go. Oh. Fuel it up, and then I guess we'll have to adjust the fuel well, pressure again. I gotta again. fix this. I want to see if I got a small holes because this pulled out. Yeah, it's got that braid on it. I don't. You don't want to put that black line. That's bigger than this line. Oh yeah. I gotta see if I got one this size, and then just change the fitting. You know, when we put all this braided line on there back in the '90s, it was the stuff. Yeah, it was. It was. Stuff. I mean, it was the red and blue AN Brady, fittings. Brady was the thing to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it's still underneath the other car. Go grab that light. Hurry, hurry. Beat him to it, Katie. <laughs> Well, the thing, I had to put an extra hole in this battery box because they won't... Uh, you see how long it is? Yeah. Okay. But there's no frame rail. This frame rail doesn't go all the way out. It stops oh, yeah. about right here. So I had to put a hole here. And I'm going to use one here and one here that through steel. So that should hold... Uh, you put that one through aluminum, you roll over, it's going to rip that aluminum. Oh, you yeah. know? So at least with steel frame rail, it'll hold. And uh, I got to get me some more. Well, depending on what track you're at, and they don't ever check it anymore anyway, you just throw a battery in the trunk and just go for it. So I already charged that bad, the <laughs> new battery. So I just got to run the hot wire from here to here once I get this thing mounted. And then 16 volts. And run them, gonna run them in series yeah. and just have a 16 volt yeah. two batteries. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it will it'll last like Randall says, you know, because we don't have an alternator, it'll run probably most of the night, you yeah. know, without trying to. But because of just the one, we have to stay ahead of the book charge. If you get behind it, you can't catch up. Yeah. And we found that up at their Arc City and Mobile. Oh, really? And, oh, dude. So the golf cart. You want this light with the better battery in it? Oh no. It's okay, Robin. The camera didn't record any of that. I don't know why. I just pushed the record button to stop it, and it just came back on. Okay. We'd be ranting and raving about the battery box. But all you missed is Dennis and Robin. Robin trying to tell Dennis how to work on the car, and she asked if I was recording. I said, "Absolutely. This is gold." But I wasn't recording, so. But I am now. Yeah, ranting and raving. I'd, I'd show y'all the holes underneath the sneak. <laughs> I wish I would have had the camera running when you guys were talking about lining the car up in the burnout box. Because <laughs> that was funny. You weren't, you were mad because you just lost that round. But that was funny. That was one of the funnier conversations that I've, I've seen in a while. I did, but the great part is that 
I can rant and yell, and I can get over it. Used to, I'd stay mad for days. I mean, oh, I get mad. Well, what I did, I walked up here. I saw what you did, and I was yeah. I was tracking with you. I was like, okay, yeah, he's I mean, lining her up. She, where she was, it wasn't very sticky. Where I was at, I could almost lose my shoe, you know. And that's why I was going like this. She had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so she tells me to get out of the way. She'll look down the track, see where she wants to run. That's not where you need to be, though. Was you in the groove? So yeah. oh, I know what that means. <laughs> Oh, you missed it in Ark City. <laughs> you guys didn't go back to Ark City the second weekend, did you? No, they canceled right it off? Yeah. So, go up to Ark City, and, you know, when you pull up, you can see in the water box if there's enough water. And, like, there's water on this side, and I know this has a big tire. I mean, you have to, like, those little tires, you want it, and they go. You know, there's not a lot. These, you have to get them going. There's a lot. So, I'm looking, I'm like, there's not much water right there. So, yeah, I, I did tell the guy, up. I did screw up on that one. some water down. Well, he puts it, he sprays it, and then kind of stops. So, there's still not really water down there. And I'm looking at it going, mm -hmm. He did one side. So, I'm thought. like, okay. So, I'm like, I'll just really kick it. Pull in, and I go to kick it, and this car just moved it sideways. Just goes, oh, you should have seen the look. She looked out the window, and she could just, oh my gosh. Satan would have been proud of her, man. <laughs> <laughs> I pull up, and I'm like, okay, Dude. that was not a burnout. This car, so I'm not even anywhere close in the right lane. So I back up, and I'm I'm trying to get back without hitting anybody. And I come back through and I look out the window and I'm like, I'm like so bad. And I'm like, where, you know, where am I? Because at this point, I don't know if I'm in the water or not. And he's just looking at me like, <laughs> so I ain't saying nothing now. <laughs> he's like, so I just kind of kick it and it starts going sideways. I'm like, screw it. I just went up and it down. I come back. And <laughs> He's like there. <laughs> you have a history of getting into some heated arguments at Ark City. Yeah. But I'm like, you know, you can tell if there's what if there's not water. Oh. Go up and put water down. Well I thought there was plenty. No, there wasn't enough water. I know. I know that after you went through the burnout. But yeah, well this thing this car's like so much boxier than that. That's like a cool that this is like a sun. You know, it's just the way it. But yeah, it kicked sideways. I was like, oh, shoot, we're going to be in trouble. Did you get it lined up now? I think so. You need help or you got it? No, I'm trying to. The, sh the shoulder on this bolt is not going all the way through, so I'm trying to. I don't want the stud sticking out, yeah. poking the battery. Jamming into the battery. Yeah. Okay, well, we're back home now, and uh, had didn't really finish anything. <laughs> we put the fuel pump on the car, but didn't tighten it down, didn't put fuel in it, didn't power it down, didn't want to. So then we worked on putting the battery box in the car, put the battery in the car, but didn't wire the battery up, didn't do any of that, Dennis didn't want to. So anyway, um, but I did come home with Dennis let me borrow telescoping gauges there's a mic in there there's a mic in there um, and then some other board ga he gave me all kinds of stuff anyway I have to get them out and, but it's everything that I need to basically measure all the cylinders and everything the crank everything on this engine so I was super excited about that because now I don't have to go buy it all Dennis hooked me up, so thank you, Dennis. Much appreciated. Anyway, that's all for this one. I know, random, crazy, but that's what we do. So, thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, all that good stuff. 